So it's currently bank holiday at the minute, and uh, obviously, uh, yeah, I've woken up, I'm up and out, it's gone past 12 o'clock in the day, and uh, yeah, it tends to be my uh, lifestyle these days, um, but uh, yeah, I choose to do it, so uh, it's all good. So yeah. I thought I'd crawl into the local uh, town uh, to grab a quick coffee um, just to uh, yeah, just to wake up there really. Just to uh, obviously have showered and things, and obviously I feel like uh, you know, get coffee down the next. So uh, it's like a double shot of uh, caffeine to uh, make me uh, alive. So, uh, we have been back already. Um, normally the town's quite quiet, um, but obviously uh, being back already it's actually really busy. So uh, there's all these like little stalls, like stalls aisle things. Um, we're doing like oat cakes and jam and potatoes and uh, yeah, it's actually pretty really chilled really, which is uh, quite nice. So uh, yeah, it's really nice to be, uh, it's really nice to be back anyway. So uh, we are going to yeah, we'll crack on the meal I think. And we'll crack on with the meal and see how we, uh, see how we all are. And uh, yeah, we'll drive forward. Like. One thing that really scares me about these places is like, uh, you know, yeah, public Wi-Fi. Public Wi-Fi is a problem. I mean, let's say it's a problem. It's kind of like one of those things that, uh, for instance, I'd be sat here now on the Wi-Fi network, uh, but obviously creating my own Wi-Fi network. So uh, it's exactly the same as what the public Wi-Fi network is in this venue now. And when people are using the Wi-Fi, it's all free of charge. So they connect to it straight away, super fast. My Wi-Fi would be quicker because I'm obviously more 5G than the venue Wi-Fi. So straight away, a lot of people will use it because it's kind of like great to connect straight away ping. It's obviously super fast internet as well. So the bandwidth, the bandwidth of 4G, 5G is like literally mental compared to the venue Wi-Fi. It's all this because obviously the venue Wi-Fi doesn't pay for you know, a fast connection. So, uh, which is fine and I get it. Um, but the problem then you see you've got this is that people obviously will connect to me because I'm obviously using latest technology. So, where, for instance, like my Wi-Fi connection, people around me will now be able to connect to my Wi-Fi because they're right next to me. Uh, I'd also give them the super fast connection for them to connect to me anyway, and they would sit there scanning the internet. Now, that's fine. The downside to that is, is I can sit here on my handset, and I can straight on there, look at my handset, and then look at every single site they're looking at, what sites they're looking at, what how far down the website they're looking at, um, all the URLs that uh, they're, they're clicking on, how long they're on, on each page for. Um, you know, really, it's a, it's a sort of thing that obviously, first of all, I know their MAC address to their handset, so uh, I know their MAC address. So uh, straight away, if I go, you know, let's say for instance, I create a Wi Fi network and I go to a different venue next, and then obviously then it'll ping up and say, oh, well, actually, on this date or this time, this phone was actually used uh, to look at these sites on this time of date. So it's kind of like the amount of information that gets fed back to the Wi Fi network, you know, which is fine to a certain level. But the problem then you see you've got is, is people like me who obviously have a bit of, you know, inside attacking. Um, I can then use that to my, you know, to my advantage, really. And they sit here and go, right, you know what, this lady here by the side of me, she's uh, obviously connected to the Wi Fi network, it's free. And she's just going to receive an email. And the funny thing is, is that email has got attachments on. So, uh, funny enough, I've intercepted that email. I've intercepted that email. She's also received it, but she doesn't realise it. Says, I'm the one sat here who's also looking at that email as well at the same time as it. So, uh, and also, uh, not only will the email be received, but I can also go down the road without having any attachments. I can then open up any, any pictures. Anything she sends back out, I intercept that data package. And uh, obviously, I can either stop it from going out because you're on my Wi Fi, or for instance, I can go tell them allowed it to go out anyway, but also take a copy of, of it. So, one thing I will always say about Wi Fi networks don't ever use Wi Fi in venues if you can help it. If you've got your own Wi Fi at home, that's different because obviously you're in charge of that. But when you're signing venues and things, it's really worry, really scary. And all I, uh, all, I can, all, all I need to do is carry a, a, a 5G router with me, which is going to give me ultimate access. And people care to me. So, uh, yeah. It's actually really scary. So, uh, but yeah, public Wi Fi is so unsecure these days. People don't realise. And especially the information that people are collecting as well. It's really bad. So, uh, yeah. It's like a geographical location tagger as well. So, uh, you know, obviously, Wi Fi networks are tracked, especially when you go to these cloud 
on these Wi-Fi uh, networks that are called the cloud. And obviously, you, you know, the cloud's being used on multiple venues as well. Uh, Virgin, all these portal pages, it's uh, really, really bad. So, uh, yeah, what I need to do is actually, need to actually go down and get your setup set up, uh, like, and actually show you guys, like, really, why Wi-Fi is so, so bad. So, uh, so any advice I for anybody, if you, if you knew what I knew, I would use Wi-Fi networks. So, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting. I'm just obviously looking around at all the people now that are on their phones, all the people that are on laptops, and uh, the, the Wi Fi is free. You click on the Wi Fi, it's open network. And uh, yeah, all I do is all I do is carry one of these boxes with me. So all I do is carry one of these boxes with me. This is kind of like a bit of a uh, battered up version now, but uh, yeah, straight away, the, uh, I get this plugged in now. I set that the same SSID and password as the venue and straight away everybody gets to me. And obviously I've got all access to them. And that's just because I'm in this area, you know. Imagine I was in like let's say a town centre. I could provide an internet free of charge to hold the town centre. And uh, not obviously anything, any fish either, any additional factor that obviously I'd make money from this because of the uh, solid data for real to. But nobody will know that I was doing that. But yeah, it's so dangerous. So uh, Wi-Fi, public Wi-Fi is so dangerous. If you've got a Wi-Fi network that your phone connects to, don't use it. And on your handset, if you go down the route looking at all your Wi-Fi networks, just, just delete them. Just so when you're walking past places, it doesn't auto-connect. Because that's the problem you see. Auto-connecting gives me your access to my, your MAC address. Now you've got to say to me, what's, the, what's a MAC address? Well, a MAC address is kind of like a, like a it's a, it, it, it's a, it's, an, it's, a, it's a unique code that every device has that has obviously access to the internet. So uh, if my phone didn't wasn't Wi-Fi uh, accessible, couldn't get to the internet, then it wouldn't obviously have a MAC address. But because it's obviously got obviously Ethernet and it's also got Wi-Fi and obviously there's a, there is a, an outside connection, it means that my phone has a unique ident identification number. So uh, yeah, it's definitely something to uh, consider that whenever you're using Wi-Fi networks, just try and be a bit more considerate to uh, things up. Uh, what am I doing with this? Am I connected for it? Do I need it? Like, would I much rather go and sit in a venue next to a window whereby I can use my own internet, on my own 4G, 5G? Or would I go down the route of sitting in a venue which has got no internet and I use the venue Wi-Fi? So, uh, so, so much bear in mind, one thing I will say is, is obviously I've done a huge amount of uh, hacking in my time when I was a lot younger and uh, obviously yeah, even like right now it's actually quite scary because the, what information I can borrow on people's handsets and what people do on their phones is uh, incredibly uh, weak. So, uh, yeah. It's what it is. So, uh, yeah. My plan is to nip off now, get cracking, go and get a few little resources and bits, and so uh, yeah, crack on really. I'm gonna wait now, I'm gonna my coffee, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my neck sorted out. So, uh, awesome, really cool, really good